Hello everyone. Well, what do we have here then? A poor Hetty that's been squashed? No, of course we don't. We have what I think is a Hoover Senior. Now, surprisingly, I haven't got one of these in my collection. It's just one I wanted. I obviously used to have them. Several models. But this is a 70s Senior in the traditional sort of blue colour scheme, the white and blue. Pretty bog standard, nothing exciting. But it's just one I wanted. It's used. It looked in reasonable condition. I'm not bothered um, if it's not, well, it should be as good as it uh, looked, hopefully, and working. So it might need a bit of a clean and a polish up. This actually is the same colour scheme as my other two sort of classic Hoover uprights, the Dirt Searcher and the Junior, and my Constellation actually. So I've got uh, a nice little selection of 70s Hoovers in the same colour. So there's the handle, a few bits of marks on there. I think that's where the paint scratched off. That's, that's to be expected for a cleaner of this age. In fact, it is a little bit earlier, makes it earlier because it's got a metal hook, there should be another hook on the lower, and this part here where the, the bag support goes on, you clip the bag to this, it's sprung, later models, that would have been plastic. So this is an earlier version, I would say, unless it's got a, the wrong handle on it, of course. Now this is a slightly lighter blue, but this is one of Hoover's plasticized bags. They were designed to be wipe clean um, compared to the, the cloth bag that went before them. So they're sort of a plastic fabric. And let's see how old this is. So it's a bottom, bottom fill, the later versions. I'm not sure actually if this style did come with a top fill. I wonder if that was introduced on this particular style of senior it smells okay anyway and it's got a genuine hoover bag fitted and they haven't sent me the dirt which is nice obviously that could do with a clean up not up to my standards but uh, you can't see it so that looks okay let's uh, the zip seemed fine that zips nice and smooth and there doesn't seem to be any damage to the bag so that's that's great not sure if this is the original cable. It does look a little bit thin. It might be. In fact, this is a slightly paler blue to the other cleaners I've got in this sort of age. Looks okay. It's as I expected it to look. So yes, as I said, this is just to fill a gap in my collection. This did form, or a very similar machine to this, formed my early collection, which I do have a video of if you want to, to check on my channel. There's a video of me with hair, wearing a very 80s jumper with uh, several Hoover uprights. Um, yeah, <laughs> somebody's trying to, um, I don't know if it's you, the seller has done this, but uh, try to patch it up a bit with uh, some paint that doesn't match. This isn't brilliant white. I've seen these refurbished and they've been painted or spray painted in a very bright white and they looked silly. It would have never been bright white. It would have been a, an off white near a cream. But anyway, it's clean and tidy as they say. The lens is in good condition. It's not cracked and it's not yellowed, which often happens with these lenses. Let's have a look at the underside. So again, it's not spotlessly clean, but it's, you know, tidy, tidy. And it's not rusted anyway, the space plate. Uh, I think it's got the two speed motor, this one. Yes, it does. There's a little two speed switch here. When you put the converter in, because the converter for cleaning tools slots into the back here. So when that goes in, what happens? It moves a little switch here 
and boosts the wattage. I think it's up to 600. Yes, it goes to six, I think it's 600. It does say, I'll have a closer look at the label in a minute. And with this version, you'd have to undo any screws to get to the belt. You've just got these two levers. And the belt's probably not original by the feel of that, but certainly good enough to do a demo with. The agitator's not that bad. The brushes do need replacing. They are a bit uh, worn. I think I've got some spare brushes, but what I got yesterday, no, this came today actually. Um, I got a whole new agitator for this. And that's a Qualtex one, because it's very hard to get hold of the original agitators for these hoovers. So I'll have a look at it. I mean, you really wouldn't. I mean, Qualtex are pretty good um, quality wise. I mean, back in the day, I wouldn't have dreamt of using a Qualtex part in any of my old hoovers. But back in the day, certainly when I had my original one, you could still buy and, and relatively cheaply and easily, you could still buy the original things. But this, you know, it certainly looks a lot better. Look at that, lovely and much longer brushes. So when I give this a bit of a refurb, I might put this in, but that does seem pretty smooth. I mean, this would probably clean up okay anyway. Bit, bit more love and attention on it and it'd be fine. But I'm not going to, I won't put that in for now because it isn't as bad as I thought. I might get another one of these actually. There was another, the seller did have one more. I might just buy another one. Just, just in case, you know, because even the old pattern spares are getting hard to come by now for these old cleaners. That's a little bit rattly, isn't it? And a bit dirty as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the old rating sticker, see if we can date this girl. So this is a Hoover model 6, 525C. It has uh, it goes up to 650 watts when the hose is attached. That's so 650 watts slash 420 watts, uh, 40 to 60 hertz, 240 volts. So the serial number of this one is 065231219376. Does that make it 76? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Trademarks of Hoover Limited, made by Hoover Limited. Great Britain. So if this old girl works, I'll be quite happy with this. Not ecstatic, but it takes a lot for me to be ecstatic, but I'm quite happy with it. It's, it's more or less as I expected it to be. So if the motor and the bearings all sound sweet, that's fine. So let's uh, pop on the old handle. I think it goes this way. So with the lower cable hook to the side where the Hoover roundel is, I think. Pop that in. Pop the old nut through. Then there's a little plate that we need to secure at the back. Is that the way it goes? It doesn't matter, I don't think, on this. There we are. And then I just have to, should get a coin really. You can do this with a coin or a, a screwdriver. But these are always designed these would have been um, assembled, pack, packed in the box from the factory with the handle like this, like I've opened it now. That's how they would have come. And the customer would have had to assemble them. Okay, I'm just gonna find a, a coin just to tighten up that nut there. There we go. Oh, that's it. It wasn't going in very well, but something's happened, so it's okay. You don't want to cross thread the, the screw. There we go, so that's the lower handle in place. And now for the upper handle, we've got this part here, which has got the cord protector on as well. If you're watching this from America, you'll know this cleaner. This would have been popular in the US of A. We called it in, in Britain, it was called the Hoover Senior. But I know in the USA, it was called the Hoover Convertible. We had a Hoover Convertible also in the UK, but that was considerably different to this. In fact, our Hoover convertible, you will know as a Dilematic. So a little bit confusing, but obviously this was back in the day before the internet and before the average customer wouldn't have known 
what vacuum cleaner you could buy in other countries. You know, that's the first thing I did when I got the internet was to, to try and log on to Hoover's USA website. You know, the early days of the internet, which was dial-up internet, and it wasn't uh, Wi-Fi. You had to be connected with a telephone cable or, or modem cable. And when you were on the internet, you, nobody could use the phone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, how we managed back in the day. But anyway, I've got fibre broadband now, so... <laughs> It's a bit of a difference and things used to take forever to load. If you were to load a website with lots of pictures on, you'd be waiting for it to slowly load like that. But, you know, I was eager to see Hoover's in America. Didn't take long for the internet to take off and things to improve. Right, there we go. That's secured now. So I've got the cord protector on the side where the hooks are. So you would wind it up. I don't know, I think this cord is replaced. Do you know? It just feels, it feels like a lamp cord. Doesn't feel as thick as it should be, to be honest. So I might look at that. Um, yeah, it feels a bit thin. And we've got an old plug on, I think it's oldish. Doesn't say where it's made. I think it's a UK made plug, but certainly it's newer. It's newer than this vacuum, I would say. But there we go, so that's the cable wound round. Now just see, it's left a dirty mark on this carpet. Oh, it might vacuum off, but I think that's gonna stain. I'll get my old SIBO Duo P out later. So finally, we've just got to pop the bag on. Obviously it goes with the old Hoover logo to the front, and it just needs to be located at the bottom pushed forward and then this li little latch at the top pulled back and secured so that's a nice tight fit and finally we've just got to hook the top of the bag over the bag support spring like that i'm just going to give this uh, a very quick polish with this vuplex because i think it's going to make the hood look a bit better as i said before i don't work for vuplex i don't get anything uh, if you buy a Vuplex, I don't think it's good stuff. I bought a slightly bigger one this time. It's a firm local to me. Um, they sell on eBay and they actually came round and delivered it personally. But what I found since buying this, they do have a website. If you buy it direct from their website, it's cheaper than buying it through eBay. If I can remember, I'll put a link to the supplier and it seems to be the cheapest you can get this. But I, I do thoroughly recommend it. It's not just for your old vacuums if you've got high gloss kitchen cabinets. Um, it's sold for people with caravans and things, but it's it's great for all sort of plastic things. So let's just see if we can get it, you know, it's pretty good. Let's see if we can look, let, get it looking a little bit better. And it's good for protecting brand new appliances. I always spray Vuplex if I open up a brand new vacuum, especially inside the dirt bin of a bagless just help protect it a bit. So we'll give it a vuplex. It'll be okay on the metal parts as well. So it's got a nice uh, citrusy smell, but probably best if you don't breathe it in. There are a few tiny paint splatters on this, which I will endeavor to remove. It's a shame that they've tried to disguise damage with the, the wrong colour paint. It would have been better left alone really. You know, sometimes it's better, better to leave a vacuum alone. But, you know, even if it has a few battle scars, you know, it shows it's lived, doesn't it? It shows it's been well used. So, there we go. I don't think it's made a huge difference to this particular one. Oh, you can, looking at my monitor, you can give it another quick an extra coat as well if you want to but I'd normally do this this would be the last thing if you're refurbishing a vacuum you'd make sure your vacuum was thoroughly cleaned first this would be like the final polish I've been looking at possibly buying one of those machines 
to uh, really give a good polish but you have to know what you're doing when you're using those because it could cause more damage but that looks a little bit better a little bit there we are so without any further ado let's hope this yeah she looks she looks good so there's no no turn down top hook I'm not sure if any seniors had the quick release hook at the top possibly I think the later power plus versions and possibly the big sweep the brown and cream one might have I'm just going to move it to one side I don't think I turned it on by the switch as you heard it was in the um, on position the little the little famous red foot switch on the side there and I believe in America I don't know if you ever had it with a foot switch because in America the convertible ones I know they had a, a thumb operated switch at the back of the handle but as far as I know we only got foot switch operated seniors so you've got the foot switch there and of course you've got the handle release so it goes into the operating position press it again and it goes a bit lower for cleaning under low furniture and then the other side we've got Hoover's height right control so at the moment it seems to be on the lowest pile setting and then you can move it down or was it I think it was yes I think that's the lowest so what this does it raises the back wheel so the back wheel is at its lowest um, or yes it's lowest down and so is the front of the cleaner so as I move the lever you can see it's raised now so the front's raised but at the back the wheels have gone in so that's how this one works you just move it and it shouldn't be doing it like that hang on it's easier if you tilt the machine forward there you go you can see how the, the wheels move out I'm going to try it on medium actually the suction of these cleaners is often so great it, it stops the brush going around sometimes because it pulls the carpet up but uh, the headlights seem to work when I switched it on so she sounds fine and dandy we'll give her a go this would have been sort of the posher for posh people actually back in the day the common folk would have had the junior and if they were a little bit above their station they'd have gone for the dirt searcher the junior with the headlight but the very posh people with lots of carpet and lots of thick pile would have opted of course for the senior cleaner Well that sound you just heard would have been a very familiar sound to people in the 70s, possibly into the 80s, well from the 60s. But anyway, <laughs> you'd know when somebody was using an old or classic Hoover upright. But uh, nowadays, of course, if you hear someone vacuuming as you're walking past, it's normally a high pitched scream, unless they've got one of the later EU compliant models that are Fortunately, a lot quieter just out of interest I did vacuum this whole area with my current vacuum of the month and at the time of making this video oh, I'll get it for you it's this one. Oh, it's got all tangled up there we go this is my current vacuum of the month so this uh, obviously you know how old this upload is because I don't know when you're gonna see this so currently because it's September 2018 I'm using the Dyson 
Animal 2, the Dyson Ball Animal 2, and it's pretty good. So it'd be interesting to see actually. It was a clean bag in the senior, and I've just vacuumed this area here. And as I said, before I set up my camera and everything, I did vacuum it thoroughly with the Dyson. So, oops, come on. And this was a new bag. I'm not expecting there to be loads. Very old fashioned way of taking the bag off with this rubber band thing. <laughs> That's it. Not loads, no. So the Dyson is doing okay. But there is. There is a bit of dirt in there. It's going to be hard to see on this. But what there is actually hasn't really picked up any hair. So the Dyson is picking up the hair. But there's quite a lot of fine dust in here that was obviously embedded in the carpet that the Dyson left. But really this would happen with most vacuum cleaners because even an average cleaner would normally find more dirt in a carpet after you've vacuumed unless you spend a long time laboriously going back and forward really slow and then crisscrossing the other way. You're always going to leave some dirt in the carpet. Obviously some cleaners will leave more than others. Let's pop this bag back on. It smells nice anyway. Whatever it's been washed, this bag has probably been washed or sprayed with something. So it has a nice odor to it. I'll probably use some, um, when the paper bags, these are single layered and they do clog quickly. That's what Mr. Dyson found when he started looking at inventing his cyclonic cleaners. He was frustrated, and I think it was a Hoover Junior he was using. He was frustrated about the suction dropping off, and it would have dropped off with a single lead paper bag like this. Suction would have been impeded after a few rooms, after you vacuumed a bit. And then you did notice the difference when a fresh bag was put in for the first few uses. You noticed it was bringing up the pile more and picking up it picking up bits easier. So yes, there was a fault with these single lead bags, but modern bags today, the multi-layered fleecy bags, they can hold a lot of dirt without impeding the suction. And I've always, I still have a preference for bagged vacuums. Right, I'm gonna put down a little bit of dirt, I think, for this Hoover Senior, and then it'll be time to say goodbye. <laughs> Well, look folks, the line of shame is back. But obviously that was to be expected because the middle is where this Hoover Senior has the belt. Either side though, where it's beaten and swept the carpet, it's done pretty good. I think with new brushes, it would have done even better than that. But considering this is a pretty old vacuum, that isn't a bad job at all.
Well, there you go. That's my lovely old Hoover Senior. Another box ticked in the old collection. And she does perform very well, considering how old this vacuum is. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm saying somewhere in the 70s. She's old. She's old technology. She's a dirty fan cleaner, but she sure knows how to clean carpets, as Hoover knew back in the day. Hoover knew how to clean carpets with their fabulous upright vacuums. If you have any comments or questions, or if you can date her precisely, please comment below. And I'll see you again for another video very soon. Bye for now.